quarantine day five, starting off in the gym. It's just how we're getting through it. What's up guys and welcome to another video. For those of you who don't know, I'm Tyler and on this channel I usually make automotive content, but for the time being while we're on lockdown and on quarantine, I'm trying to make a video every single day and because I can't do car content, I'm making basically whatever it is I can every single day just to fill my time and so that I don't go insane. So today we have a tech video and we will be remapping PC keys to emulate Mac. Now, I know some of you guys are gonna hate that and some people are gonna crucify me for that, but it's what I did and what works for me and I feel like will work for some people if you're in the same situation as I am. So let's, let's kind of explain why I did this. I've had this MacBook Air right here from 2013 and it's now 2020. It's a long time for a MacBook Air to live and I've been overworking this thing for many years. It finally gave out and crashed, so I had to get a new computer. Now looking at the prices from the brand new MacBook Pros or the MacBook Airs, they are very costly to fully build out to edit 4K videos and do After Effects. That led me to look at Windows and PC computers. I got this MSI P65 Creator over here. This was the $1,700, and it was a much better option for me, opposed to getting the four thousand dollar macbook pro so we're gonna close this and slide it off to the side <laughs> so i've used mac basically for the entirety of my adult career in our offices we have macs so i'm very familiar with how macs work and all the keys on the macs and if you have ever used a mac and a pc you'll realize that for whatever reason mac decided to invert some of the keys that they have on their keyboard it's very annoying and it's super annoying to go back and forth in between the two when you're not used to it and everything and and instead of learning and relearning keys and getting used to this keyboard, I just remapped it how Mac is. I know some of you guys are gonna think that's stupid, but it worked for me and I hope it works for some of you so you don't have to go back and forth if you're using both platforms. So let's fire up the computer and let me show you how to do this. So after you get the computer fired up, you're going to want to go over here to your search. You type in reg. The registry editor will come up. You'll probably have to type reg edit, something along the lines of that. You're going to want to click that and open it. So the registry editor is going to open up. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to H key local machine. You're going to open that down. Then from local machine, you're going to want to move to system. From system, you're going to want to go to current control set. And then some people have current control set and then you'll have to go further than that and click controls, others won't. Uh, from that option then you will wanna scroll down. To keyboard layout. There's gonna be one right below it that says keyboard layouts. You want keyboard layout, singular, not plural. So click on keyboard layout. When you click on keyboard layout, what it's gonna do is bring you to this open window right here. It should just say default. As you guys can see, I've created this right here. It says scan code map. You guys are gonna do the same thing. So what you'll do right here is you'll left click, you'll click new, and you'll click binary value. You'll name that scan code map. Once you do that, obviously I already have one that exists. So we'll just leave mine at new value, but you'll name that as scan code map. Double click that. So when you start this binary value, you're gonna wanna zero this all out. Once you zero out the first line, you're gonna put zero. You're gonna put zero, two. Oh, zero, two. So you want this to say zero, two in the second line. Now what this is gonna indicate is that we are going to be mapping a key. We're then gonna push six more zeros. So once you get your line to look like this, where you have the zero two and a set of three double zeros, you are then going to enter in your binary code for the key that you want to map to. So in this instance, I'm going to be switching my left alt with my left control. So what we're gonna do is go to our binary code key map, and we're gonna look for our left alt. So left alt as we can see is right here it's set 
right here, what we're gonna be working with is our set one number. I'm gonna come down to our left alt, which is 38. So what we're gonna put in this is 38. And we're gonna do another set of double zeros. Now what we're saying is when we push our left alt key, what do we want it to do? We're gonna set it to the value that we want. So if we go back to this binary code value, we look for our left control, it's 1D. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in 1D, and we're gonna zero, zero. So what we told that this to do, this line that we just created, we told it when we push the left alt key, we want it to engage the left control key. So now these are, when we push left alt, it is left control. Now both of these buttons at this moment is left control is control and left alt is control. So what we're gonna do is then invert the, uh, the code that we just did. So again, we're gonna put zero, two, zero, 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 zero. We're gonna get three pair or a set of three double zeros. And what we're gonna do is write one D. So left control, zero, zero. So when left control is pushed, what do we want it to do? We want it to be left alt, which would be 38, zero, zero. Now, if you just wanted to switch those two keys, you would zero this out by putting four zeros. Then you would click OK. Now, furthermore, your keyboard would be set for that. However, on Windows keyboards, um, what they also have is a Windows key in between their Alt and their Control. It's super annoying when you hit the Windows key instead of hitting Alt or in Control, and it, it's that in and of itself is annoying. So what I'm going to do is switch the left Windows button to be the right Alt. So what I'm gonna go back here, well first, let's zero these out. Now we're gonna go back to our binary code map over here, and we're gonna find left Windows. Left Windows is down right here. We're gonna go to our set value. Our set number one value is 5B, so we're gonna type in 5B. Now, as before, as you can see up in these three lines, we have, uh, we zero zeroed after we put in the value that we wanted. But if you go back to this binary code map chart and you see attached to um, 5B in the front of this, we have EO. So that EO will, or E0, will follow that 5B that we just put right here. Now after that, we are going to map this. So right now what we're saying, what we want to happen when we push the left Windows key, we are going to switch it to the right Alt key. Now we're gonna go back up here to right Alt. So Alt, right Alt is also 38, 38 like we had at the top. So we're gonna type in 38, but also on this in front of the set value, for number one, we also have E0. So what we're gonna do again, on the back end of this, after you already put the value in, you're gonna put E0. Now that has completed your binary code line for that. So what this third line says is that when we push 5B right here, that is our right, or left, sorry, our left Windows key. When we push it, we want it to engage the right Alt key. Now again, at the moment, we will have two Alt keys. We will have the Windows button be the Alt key and the right Alt key will also be an Alt key. So we're gonna invert this so that we can also retain our Windows button, just move it. Again, we're gonna zero two to indicate that we're mapping a new key, zero zero, or we're mapping two keys because it's easier that way. It's really hard when you start mapping three keys, it gets confusing. So we're gonna put 38, right alt. This is the right alt button that we're going to be mapping now. We're gonna be mapping a new value to it. It's followed by E0, as we stated before, because right alt has um, E0 attached to it in front of here. Now after that, we're just gonna invert what we already did, 58, E0. Now we just inverted these keys. So left Windows button is going to be our right alt. And when we push the window or the right alt button, we're going to get our Windows key. So now to finish this all out, we're gonna zero zero. 
zero, 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 zero. Now you have four sets of double zeros and you're gonna click OK. So now I have two of the same, which I am going to delete because I don't need that anymore. So your scan code map should look like this. Now what you're going to do after that is just kind of close back out of everything. Close out of this. Now what you're gonna do is restart your computer. When you restart your computer, power, restart. Now once we restart, we'll meet back up with you guys. So if you guys have followed all the steps that I've shown you, you will have now successfully remapped your keys and your keyboard to uh, be in the same configuration as a Mac. I know some of you guys probably hate that I just did that. But I'm somebody who really, like, I'm down to be inconvenienced once and learn all this stuff to make it the way that I want it. Because when things don't work the way that I like them to, it's very frustrating and aggravating for me. So I'd rather remap these keys than uh, deal with the frustration because I hit that Windows key all the time by accident and it annoys the crap out of me. There's a control and alt are in like the place that I'm used to them being. I've also gone so far to um, change the physical keys on the keyboard. Like I popped out the keys, look, switch the control and the alt so the alt is down here, control is here. This control is also in alt and the Windows key is now on this side. So it's all functioning when I push this, look it, it goes up and um, We'll just type something. Look, at, we already have something typed up here in the search bar. I will control C. Look at that. We'll space and control V. Look at that. Success. <laughs> If you guys like this video, please smash that like button, comment down below, tell me what you think, if you hated it, if you absolutely hate that I did that and you're frustrated that I didn't just learn how to use the keyboard, comment down below, let me know what you guys think. And um, subscribe, because I'm trying to hit 100,000 subscribers to get a plaque hanging on my wall saying I did something with my life. And so that I don't go insane during this entire uh, quarantine. So that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If it was boring, if it helped some of you out, I hope that it did because this would have helped me out. I wouldn't have had to spend hours to try and figure out how to do this. And you guys are probably saying, well, that defeated the purpose because it wasn't that simple, but now it's simple because you guys have a simple tutorial on how to do it. See you guys tomorrow.